things out here, kid. This is... So it's back to work on the 400 suite. Yep, all the little jobs what we've been forgetting about. Well, yeah, we didn't <laughs> think that they were going to take too much time. No. When we made a list of all these little jobs that we need to do. Mm -hmm. It's a very big list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just all these tiny little sort mm -hmm. of finishing touches. So putting the glass door plates on. Yep, just um, putting bits of furniture together. Just filling, going around and inspecting every Everywhere. single bit of their wall or anything that needs touching up or painting what's been knocked. Yeah. So it's just everything, isn't it? Yeah, last little bit. So obviously we've got little bits to do in the bathroom, uh -huh. bedroom, mm -hmm. salon is the TV to get up and get sorted. Yeah. Hallway, we need to get our new mirror up. Yes. A nice new mirror yeah, that we bought. Lovely new mirror. Can't wait to see that up. So we need to get that in place. And then just some of the last little bits really just mm -hmm. to get them sorted so yeah I think everyone sort of thinks we forgot about the no, 400 no no and Terry I think you're gonna do a what do you call it a look back yes we... uh, Terry will be doing one I'm not quite sure when um, and and no. we'll show you because I know a few people have said oh can you pan round and see this and this so he will do one and he'll show absolutely everything in there when we've got everything done done yeah, you know, yeah. we don't want to do a half-hearted one, do we? It well, has to be. No, we've know, been showing good. you everything that's been going on there anyway, and like there hasn't been much of a change in there since the last videos we showed you when we were putting the furniture in. Mm -hmm. This is why we're doing this one now, so it's showing you all like the last little bits, all the other, yeah, detaily bits, mm -hmm. so you can see a little bit more in there. Yeah. So yeah, so we better get to it, mm -hmm. get these on. bits in, mm -hmm. and then go from there. Okay. Come on Let's then. Go.
So one of the final pieces to go in is the luggage rack. So people can now put the suitcases in a certain place, keep them out the way if they want them to, and obviously unpack if they stop in here for quite a while. Just folds up as well, so if they want an extra space, then it can just fold up out the way. Which is brilliant, getting all these last little bits done. But there's a bit of a problem, obviously it was all going so well. So the dreaded bathroom has come back to bite us yet again. Obviously we had a leak in the, it's a few weeks back when we put the cold water on. Now we've put the hot water on, we've got the same problem. We've got another leak there and it's just honestly, it's an absolute headache and it's a bit disheartening as well because you've done all this work to get to this stage and then the smallest of things, like I said, a leak. It's only a tiny leak, but a tiny leak can cause massive damage, so we have to get it sorted. So I'll show you what we're up to now and what we need to do to get sorted and go from there. So as I said, we're in the bathroom. Got my nice little bits on now, toilet roll holder, stuff like that in. And this is our problem. So the copper pipe, the hot one, when we've turned the hot water on, obviously the, the heat in it is literally, I don't know if it's popped the joint or whatever, but the solder on it, it just wasn't holding. Now, we've had someone over to try and get the solder back in, but we're thinking that there's loads of, sort of grit or sink in there that's stopping it from actually soldering together. So, yeah, it's a bit of a nightmare because all of this was done when we very first came here. Obviously we've got people in to do this. So this wasn't anything that we've done and we haven't had any time to sort of check it really because we haven't had all of the plumbing in and the hot water on. So we wouldn't have known this. So yep, yeah, I think what we're gonna have to do is cut a section out to add a new section in to try and get it sorted. But it's obviously caused damage to the floor and the skating board down here. And then downstairs in the salon, it's caused damage down there as well, just from this one little pipe. I'll take you down so you can see obviously what's going on downstairs, but we've got our little breakfast um, table sorted here. So obviously that folds away as well. We've got the straps done on that because they'd rotted away. Um, so they're done now. So when people do stay, we can bring fresh croissants and pan of chocolates and leave them outside the room so they can have them there, which will be good. And then going into the salon, which is just another problem to solve. So the hole that we did have in the ceiling is now even bigger because we've had to get to the hot water pipe to disconnect that so we can drain the system so we can solder it. So we tried to solder it in place, that didn't work and we tried doing a bit more, that didn't work. So the final option is literally to cut that section out and try and add a new section in. So yeah, like I said, it's just another sort of kick in the face really getting to this stage and then dealing with more problems that we could obviously have solved at the beginning really. Um, but it's one of these things, you live and learn. So, like I said, we're gonna get that sorted now. Um, we've got Brick or Mark over to come and help us and give us a bit of advice on how to actually get it sorted and then go from there, really. So, I better crack on, get this done, and hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be able to have the bathroom back to normal, get a couple of licks of paint on the bits that we need to, and go from there.
have it. Another job ticked off the list. Luckily, Brick or Mark came and saved us, which is fantastic because I've never done any soldering before with copper pipes or anything, so I wouldn't know where to start with it. But yeah, another job ticked off the list. All we do need to do now is obviously give it a coat of paint and get it looking nice again, which will be good. And then we can get all tidied up and stuff like that. And hopefully, fingers crossed, it's the last leak that we're gonna have here in the bathroom because I don't know how many more I can take because I'm just, every time I think we're nearly there, I'm nearly sorted, then we get another one. So it is where it is, but hey ho. But quickly show you around just how it's all looking now so you can see all the little finishing touches that we're getting in. And yeah, just excited. So I'm still waiting for my soap dispenser to come. So that's why the mirror's that height. But once you're up here, it's not, too high, like I said, you can see in it perfectly. So once that comes, we'll be able to mount that on the wall. Then we've got our toilet roll holder and toilet brush holder now. So we've got a nice ceramic one to match the shelf and the toilet, which is all good. So all of the wine glasses are in for when the guests arrive. That still needs a bit of work. And then in the bedroom, we're just waiting for the bedding to come. So that's an order. And a little luggage rack is all sorted, which is all good. And then in the hallway, we've got our beautiful picture up and the mirrors up as well, which is good. Put the light on. And then in our little cupboard, we're gonna have water bottles, we've got wine, we've got a little coffee tray so people can have proper coffee with the espresso cups or you can have a little tea tray. So I guess I'll just take these out, bring them up to the top and they can make their own fresh tea or they can do the fresh coffee which is brilliant and as per the cups that we've got, they're all from the Titanic because you just have to. And then in our massive fridge, we have da, 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 we have two milk and two bottles of wine. So we have a white and a rosé and the two milk there, which it's just absolutely perfect. And then on this side, we've got the little bin. So people can put like little bits of rubbish in there and it's all hidden away. So when you're finished with your tea and that, get it. Pop it down there and there we have it. So it keeps this whole area nice and clean and tidy. And honestly, it's just looking amazing now. Just in here, just getting all of the final finishing touches got the tray outside so we can do fresh croissants when the guests come and then we've got our little titanic plates as well which are in the top of the dresser I don't know if you've seen them so they can have them when they're in the room so yeah so I hope you enjoyed it seeing obviously it was getting so close to the finish line now got a couple more bits left to go in and then it's all done and ready for the first guests to come and enjoy the stay at the chateau, which will just be amazing to get the first guests in the chateau since I think about the early 90s, 80s, I think it was um, when the, the last people that actually stopped in the chateau was. So to be getting people back in and enjoying it is just going to be absolutely amazing. And just to, to see all of the hard work that we've put in over the last especially the last year, but over the last three years, really, because it's been bit by bit that we've been doing it. And obviously a bit of drama as well with the leaky pipe. We were just so excited just getting all the last bits in. And then I just noticed a little bit of water dripping down. And we just thought it was condensation on the pipes. And then it kept on going and kept on going. And what we thought was going to be just a little fix ended up being obviously taken two of the pipes out, we had to take the pipe out downstairs in this uh, salon. So yeah, 
it's just been a bit of a headache. But luckily we got it all sorted. It's all back in place now, all back together. Just need to lick a paint and then that's that room ticked off. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let us know how you think obviously the 400 suites turning out. And if you think that we can actually top the 400 suite with the 401 suite, because once you're in this space, it is absolutely magnificent. It really is. The cameras don't do it any justice to get a, a sense of space and the colors and how everything gels together really. So you're gonna to have to get yourself here so you can actually see it and enjoy it. So yeah, we will see you in the next video. Thank you so much and see you soon. Bye. If you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon, where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history, and get exclusive videos.